Don't want to show the address. But I want to show you that right there. I'm sure you all know who lives in Pomona, California. But I wanted to take a really close look at the date. I don't know if this is doing any justice for you can see the date on there. But if you can't, I'll read it to you. It says July 24th, 2018. So let's go back a few months and I will tell you the story about this, this here package. The Pino Man uh, asked me this specific question about something um, oh, f a few months ago. He goes, are you Italian? And I said, I asked him back, I said, yes. And I didn't know why he was asking, but I, yeah, I, I answered the question. And then, I don't know, about, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks later, um, I don't know if he messaged me or we were on the phone or something, I forget. But he said, did you get the package I sent? And I said, no, what package? And he said, I sent you a package. And I said, no, man, I didn't, I didn't get you your package. So um, we kind of figured out that it went to my old address. And um, I, I hadn't been at that address in a year, so I figured, ah, you know, whatever was that went sent there, it's probably going to be gone. It's probably not going to be forwarded. Flash forward to today, November first, two thousand eighteen, and there, here's the package that's been. I don't know if it's been crisscrossing the country or what, or if it's been sitting in some truck in Naples somewhere here. But it took almost four months for this little package to get from Pomona, California to Naples, Florida. That's why they call it snail mail, people. That's why they call it snail mail. But um, I was very psyched to see this, and I, and I already let Caesar know that I did get it. And he, he thought it was gone, too. And uh, here it is. Here's the, uh, the package from Pepino's, Pepino Man. Now, it's not Pepino's package, you know, even though he, I don't know, maybe would want to send that. I don't know, you know. But uh, it's a package from Pepino Man. And uh, I already tore, o tore it open. And we're going to check out what's in said package. Are you fucking kidding me? And first thing, let's see. Let's see here. Oh. Look. Looky here. Little pop rock action. All right, who dares me to eat this on air and drink some soda at the same time? What? I don't know, there's a rumor there's a rumor that somebody did that in the like some kid did that in the 70s and died. I don't know if I'll do that, but Pop Rocks, I don't think I've had these suckers in like 30 years. Man, Pop Rocks. You got seltzer. That is cool. We have seltzer? Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna try that on air. I don't want to croak on, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> that would probably go instantly viral. And then, ah, oh, yeah, now this is what he was talking about. Okay, this is very cool. I think these might be um, applications for, um, for bases, like, you know, for first base, second base, third base, I think. Pepino, tell me if I'm wrong. But these, I believe, were, um, you had mentioned something from the World Baseball Classic um, for Team Italia. And uh, that is freaking cool, dude. That, that is awesome. I love it. That's, um, that's awesome. And uh, let's see what else we got in here. There's a couple more things in here. I got something wrapped up in Coban. Coban. That's this stuff right here. Coban. Pepino knows how to wrap packages. Coban's like the best ever, man. When people come in and I have to, I have to take care of their wounds and stuff, Coban is, is the best. It's this sticky. It's not sticky, but it's like this rubbery bandage that sticks to itself oh, so you can wow. reapply it and stuff this is awesome coban i hope this wasn't wrapped around your crotch or anything man <laughs> i don't know Why are you, yeah. <laughs> so you sent me some cards you sent me a stan usual diamond king dude i love your packages man they're so cool you sent me a joe carter rookie of him in the cage there we go right there <laughs> He sent me an opening day Prince Fielder card with the old trophy on it. This looks like it's a numbered card, too. This is numbered 967 out of 2007. That's really cool. I guess it's a gold version. I never saw that before, but that's awesome. We got a little, little, little trophy action on there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then um, another trophy card. This kind of hits two of, my, two of my collections. Here's my trophy collection. See the trophy right there. And also hits my food name collection, Tim Salmon. So now that the, the Angels have had a salmon and a trout, that's pretty cool in their history. 
And uh, that is awesome, man. Thank you. And I think there's actually something else in here. Oh, yes. And some more Coban. Nice, man. Some more Coban. Let's see what else we got Maybe here. I'm going to be a sponsor for Coban. Ah, cool, dude. A 1968 Willie Davis in the cage. See the cage right behind him? He's behind the net there. That's awesome. Thank you. Ah, I love it. And an Andre Dawson second year card in the cage. That is great, man. Right into the binder. Oh, little Donnie baseball action right there. Cool deal. Who's that? That's Donnie Mattingly and Rod Carew. Um, That's cool. So this is a card basically saying that um, Donnie Mattingly was a big fan of Rod Carew. That's awesome. This is out of um, Pen uh, Score. Oh, I can't read the date. 1993. I believe it's 1993. But that's really cool. I don't think I have this one, actually. That's awesome. Thanks. And then we got this Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray. I think this might, this might be random, unless... No, no maybe not. Brilliant. Maybe not. It's not Ben. It's die cut. Oh. It's die cut. See, it's like not square. It's got that different design in there. What is that? Because, I don't know. You know I love die cuts, man. So that's very cool. I like that a lot. It's got a little hologram on there. That's cool. Yep. This is out of SP. Uh, this is like 1997. And that's really cool. That's S actually SPX. Uh, love that card. Eddie Mofo Murphy. Oh, another Danny Baseball. Danny Baseball. This is out of 2013 Panini. And it's a clear vision. That's awesome. Single mm -hmm. of Donnie Baseball. Thanks, dude. That's awesome. These bad boys have been floating around the ethers for months. <laughs> and he sent me a pack of 2008 Tops Series 1 baseball. So let's see what's in this in this bad boy. Let's open this sucker up on was live. Was 2002 good for baseball cards? 2000, no, this is 2008. 2008, I um, It was decent. There were some decent cards in 2008. You had, uh, had the Kershaw rookie in there. But there was an update, not in this series, not in series one. I'm not sure anything big in series one. But let's see what we got here. We got NL Cy Young Award winner, Jake Peavy. We got the rookie card of White Sox pitcher Lance Broadway. I got a horizontal card of Braves player Willie Harris. I really like 2008 tops. Um, I really dig the design, these bubble designs on top here. The only thing that just annoyed me a little bit about this design was the picture was just a little too small. The card itself, um, I, I, I like the design, but they, you know, by putting this logo here really cut into the photo. And, you know, I think the photo is the most important part of the card. And that just takes away from it a little bit. But I thought the design was kind of cool. They didn't do anything like that before. Wow. And it's just very, very cool looking. Um, so Hank Blaylock from the Rangers. And then I got, he does not play anymore. Um, James Loney from the Dodgers with a trophy. Trophy. Here we go. That's awesome. Ryan Garko from the Indians. This guy's from, I think he's down here, from down here in Florida. Is he? No, he's not. I thought he was from Florida, but no, he's not. He's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of Bob Lewis. It's Ryan Garko. And then uh, I got this uh, year in review of Carlos Delgado. That's cool. That'll go into my Delgado PC. It's a cool little card there. And then I got a top gold of Say It Ain't So Robinson Cano. Yankees. Yankees. Not anymore. And I got the ever loved checklist. Unchecked. How do you like that? It's unchecked. Do they still do checklists? Not like that. No. Edgar Renteria. And Danny Heron from the A's. Well, thank you very much, S.A. Thank you very much for the package. S.A. <laughs> SA. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything. I don't want to leave anything behind. But, nope, that is it. Thank you very much. It finally made it. I really appreciate it. And, uh, like in both languages, ciao. Later, guys. Have a good night. May the cardboard God shine down upon everybody. Thanks, Pepino.